Okay, let's start this new hatch right. So, here's some little updates. I was able to jog rest Omnimon. He's asleep now, but there you go. Got OG Omnimon right there. Didn't do that on camera. I just wanted to experience that myself. It's been a while since I did that just for my own self. Now having to record it, and it was kind of liberating. I liked it. Um, so... I'm not super excited or happy because I'm tired and also because of the altercation that happened yesterday. Well, it wasn't a real altercation, it was just like situation that happened yesterday. Uh, I do now find- Ooh, okay, I like the little secret they got me this time. So, I finally got Digimail. I love this. I love this so much. I'm so happy that Tamagotchi- Tamagotchi, Japan you want. Uh, has a new little thing when you get Digimon. So I guess this was gonna be in anything that you get that's Digimon related, and then Tama Mill will be in anything that is Tamagotchi related. So, uh, you know, because of all this stuff that's happening right now, um, I'm being super extra cautious. I am asthmatic, um, and because of that, um, I ain't taking no chances. And apparently, the way that this thing. Um, the reason why this thing is so infectious is that it can hook on to things, and so, um, I don't want it, uh, I don't want it hooking on to me. So, um, when I got the package, uh, it came in a DHL bag, and that DHL bag, the Tom and Mel, or, sorry, Digimail, yeah, I just wiped this down with the Lysol before putting it back here. That's how cautious I'm being, by the way. I have to be that cautious. It's probably gonna get all messed up, but I'm getting more Digimon stuff from them. Um, I don't know where my Tama Mail um, little thing is. Can't find it, that's a shame. But uh, yeah, it used to say Tama Mail and it was red. Now it says Digimail and it's blue. How, ador how adorable. Uh, they also got me a card, but the coolest thing is it's not just any card, it's from the Digimon card game, the OG one. I don't have any cards from the OG card games. This is so, super sick, because now I can actually use this to as a little prop for my uh, D-Arc. So it is this guy. Can anyone tell me who the hell that is? I have no idea who that is. Uh, I'm also going to be wiping this down. Uh, I really should not be doing that, but I don't care. Um, I gotta be safe. Sorry. Better safe than sorry. Somebody touch this. Who that person was? I don't know. Which is why I have to wipe it down. Uh, it's in it's in very good condition, all things considered, which is uh, weird because uh, it does say 2000, made in made in made in Japan. That's super cool. All right, and then we of course have the pink thing with its own the X3s. So like I said, it was in a DHL bag, and that DHL bag was the um, the white bag Japan you want usually puts all your stuff in. So when I, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the DHL guy thought I was a, a maniac because I came out there with gloves and I was just like, oh, just, just, just put it over there. Just, just put it over there. And he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, you know, trying to make small talk, but I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like staying my distance, you know? I, it, it sucks that, you know, we're, I'm acting like, you know, this is like a, like a zombie apocalypse. Like, drop it, just drop it right there. Don't get any closer. Um, but yeah, I uh, took the package. Uh, with the gloves on, wiped the package down, wiped the inner package down, and then took these out. Like, I'm not saying everyone should be that cautious, but it's better safe than sorry, you know? Um, I'd say it's not a bad idea to wipe down all your packages that you're getting from anywhere, even Amazon. Uh, because there's a lot of workers that are in the workforce that could have it that uh, don't know it. So it's better, like I said, to be safe and sorry, practice caution. Um, I really should be wearing gloves right now, if anything. Alright, so, Lysol wiped all this down. How ridiculous is this, you know? That we're, we're doing this as a society. Alright, there you go. There's the yellow, which looks really damn good. Um, and the blue, which also looks amazing. Excuse me while I wipe all this down. And... Blue. Wow, how beautiful is that? Oops, what fell? Blue. Whoops. That one was supposed to be Sneaks, but Sneaks ended up getting his own. So still, huge shout out to Sneaks for helping me get these. Uh, they look gorgeous. Uh, I haven't had a full set of devices in what feels like forever. So, uh, 
yeah, pretty excited, pretty happy. So excuse me while I clean up a bit and we'll show off some comparisons between the... We'll show off some comparisons, we'll show off the original X1, the X2, and then the X3, and we'll do all that good stuff. So I'll be right back. Stay tuned, guys. I'm so excited. All right, let's crank these things open. It's been like a 10 IRL minutes uh, from that cut. So uh, these have now disinfected pretty much. Uh, so yeah, like I said, be careful, be safe, guys. When you get stuff, uh, wipe it down uh, and immediately throw it out. So, oh man, this looks so nice. So yeah, like I said in my initial reaction when Humulus opened his, um, the yellow looks really nice. I really like it. It's kind of like a, like an amber, I'd say. It looks amber-esque. I like it. I like it a lot. Less like pea. Everyone was saying, oh, it's gonna look like pea, blah, 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 talking all that shit. Now everyone wants the yellow one. You're too late. I hope the yellow one becomes, uh... <laughs> harder to find just because everyone was talking that much crap and the blue one the images uh the promo images made it look like it was going to be a uh more electric blue you know what i mean uh this is not electric blue blue sorry but it is beautiful i love it i do love it still very nice color uh the gold on there looks nice we'll see how long that lasts uh the silver on this one looks nice too again we'll see how long that lasts uh but the best so on the front we got Examon X, and we have Gankumon X, with the Chankla of Death, or Ch Chankla X. So, on the back here, that's cool. Okay, so on the back here, it shows off the which Royal Knights are going to be on which device, which I think is pretty cool. So, on this device, we'll start with Examon, because, I don't know, he's the one that most people seem to be caring about the most. Well, they did care about him the most, now it's kind of a toss-up. So we have, oh, I always forget his name. It's not Leopardmon X. It's not Leopardmon X. Something like that, though. I can't remember his name. I always forget his name. He's like one of my favorites. Uh, and I always forget his name. Examon X, Omnimon X, Alphamon Oryukin. We have Old Force Vidramon X, which is pretty sick. We have Slipemon X, or Kentaurusmon X. And then we have, of course, Jessmon X. We have up here an image of Three of the Royal Knights that are exclusive to this device. That's Examon X, uh, Jessmon X, and Omnimon X. We have the Zai. We have the area shown in the cut-in. We got, I uh, think that is just Jessmon X. I don't think that's Jessmon GX. And uh, Examon, again, X. They're advertising their newer revamped Digimon Web. They revamped that quite a while ago. Before... Around the time they announced the new anime is when they revamped the Digimon website. So you have here the yellow roster, and the yellow roster is pretty stacked. It's got a lot of cool ones. So we got, of course, Magnamon X. We have who the hell is that again? <laughs> I can't remember. You're Craniumon, so you are. I can't remember. I don't know all the Royal Knights. Can you believe that? Fake fan. That is who I am. Duke Mon X. Another Alpha Mon where you can use on both devices because uh, you can draw grass them. One of the devices gets Alpha Mon and then one of these gets Ryudamon. I think this one has Ryudamon and the blue one has Alpha Mon or vice versa. Uh, we have Craniumon, Rondo Nightmon or Lord Nightmon X, and then of course Genkumon with La Chunkla! The Chunkla X! I'm so happy. I hope like if he ever shows up in anything, like he legit like uses the, the Chunkla as like an attack, you know? That'd be great. Uh, so this is looking like normal Alphamon, not what do you can. So maybe Alphamon is on this one, and then uh, Ryudamon's on the other device, and you have to draw rest them. And then I bel I'm gonna guess that's Magnamon, looking Magnamon-esque. That's definitely Genkumon. This looks a lot more like Genkumon than his older sprite from the 20th, because that one didn't look like Genkumon at all, like a, like a ninja. This one definitely looks like I'm used to the hair, and you can make out his, uh, his like little headpiece. So I like that a lot. Uh, and then we have Alphamon, and then we have Genkumon here being shown off. Pretty substandard stuff as far as the packaging goes. So we're gonna compare it to a couple things. I'll compare the I'll compare the yellow because the yellow one is like the one I was the most excited for. Uh, so we have yellow. We got red for the version two. Uh, yeah, it says X3 yellow, X2 red. 
They're very similar. I'd say that this one is a lot more... I don't know, this one... I think it's just the color. I think it's the same overall design. It's just that, like, this one has, like, this little thing here, and this one does not. And on the back, similar thing where this is showing off the Royal Knights, or sorry, this is showing off the Demon Lords that are on this respective device while the um, the X2, or sorry, the X3 is showing off the Royal Knights on the device. So we have X2, X1, the X1 black. I love this packaging. I still want to get the other one just because I love the packaging of this entire line. Uh, I forgot to mention the, the Zai is different colors, colored to the respective uh, device. So this is a yellow Zai. The, actually, this one's a deep red, and this one's like a lighter red with a gold, or sorry, a silver uh, trim, while the, I think both the blue and the yellow have silver trims. Actually, no. So this one has a silver trim because it has a silver X. Go figure. This one has the gold trim because it's the gold X. And of course, the eye is blue. I've been going a lot into the packaging, but I, I am one of those nerds that actually really likes packaging. Uh, so we'll compare at this one. And then we have, of course, the Zubamon color, 20th. It's all the same shape, but it's just the back and just everything else that's different. But they always have that. Uh, they always have an advertisement for who you get as far as colors are concerned uh, and that or it's like the exclusive I mean you know so then we have the original 20th the first one back again showing off Zubamon who was not the exclusive on this device but he was the new one who's an arguable you know the first you know the 20th anniversary mascot and then we have of course last but not least the English packaging which looks like nothing of the sort, like any of the other ones, because this is based off of the English packaging from back in the day. So, let's crack these open. I'm going to be using the knife again. I have found my tool that I used to talk about, but the knife is gonna work better, so we're gonna use the knife. I'll open this a little bit off camera, because I wanna get make sure I get this top one right, because if you, I've talked about this all the time, but there is, uh, there is a, there is tape right i'll do it for this video i do it every video but i, I don't why well, don't anyone ever making the mistake i made because i ruined my 20th packaging and it's the only one i have at the moment japanese that is um, right up here see you can see the tape and if i kind of point in the right light you got to separate that if you want to be able to pull this out properly it's not just on the sides it's there too so if you're having trouble opening these that is why um I don't know why it's like that. I always thought it was just like something the Japan you want did, but no, it's just something they do in the factory, and I don't know why. So I'll open up both at the same time. We're gonna start both at the same time because, you know, I can do that now. So why not, you know? But yeah, how are you guys? I'm doing really well. I'm very happy that I finally got these. Um, this is like the, this and Cyber Sleuth is like just what I needed for all this. It's like the perfect blend of Digimon. If you guys are wondering, I'm, I'm doing very well in Cyber Sleuth. So let's pop this open. I love the blue. The blue is very nice. Blue is a very nice color. Not my favorite. I don't know if I've ever said my favorite color. My favorite color is green, actually. If we got a green, uh, a green X, that would have been sick. But we did not, alas. They kind of stuck to very similar colors, you know. I'll do both. I was gonna say, which one should I open first? I'm gonna do both. So we're we'll gonna slide it, and it'll just drop out. We'll just drop it out. I'm not gonna show up the comic because I can't read it. I don't want to take it out of the damn packaging. It doesn't really. It's nothing I can read. It's nothing I can take out the packaging. Um, I will go into the lore in a bit. Um, but firstly, let's just uh, get these turned on, get these open, and like actually uh, start playing them. Ooh, what's up here? There we go. Getting worried there. So, uh, Genkumon and Examon X are definitely two interesting choices for mascots. All the choices for mascots have been interesting since the X2. Like, Metal Gurumon X and Wargreymon X made sense. Um, 
because they both make Omnimon, and also like one red, one blue. Pretty self-standard. Uh, but yellow, I think works. It's gorgeous. It is like, yeah, kind of like a, um, I wouldn't say dark amber, but like an ambery color. I, sorry, I was looking at it with my own eyes. Uh, this is gorgeous. The background is also a really cool homage. So the also the the actual feel of these are different than the X2. Maybe because I've played with this for a while, but these feel more like matted. Like these feel a lot more matte of a finish. Uh, it doesn't feel as glossy as the. Actually, I mean this has a matte finish too, but this is like more. Grainy. I don't mind it though. I actually like it. It makes it feel really cool. So, and the thing about these two, the background on these, the background on these is a reference to the Pendulum X's. So the Pendulum X3 had this as the background as well. And if you see in the middle, the Zai has a little, it's actually green. It's not all the same color. That's because on the third Pendulum X, the Zai had a different, uh, a multicolor LED in the middle and it would change colors depending on different things you could do you could do a burst evolution and stuff like that and that would actually glow green when that happens so that's really cool that they did that for both of these not as cool as like digimon hell uh and not as cool as uh, destroyed og digital world but i do like it and i'm really happy that they did add that because that's just like again like the, the little things they add in these devices nowadays uh, are always my favorite. So Digimon X, blue. Digimon X, yellow. Oh, cool, look, the yellow is not like colored in. Okay, so we're gonna start it. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 11 o'clock right now. Probably 12 o'clock right now. What is 12 o'clock? Why is this 13 o'clock? I didn't make it 13 o'clock, I made it 12 o'clock. Okay, 12.01, sit. Oh, 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 go on. Come on. Yay! And there you go, the Terriamon and Lopmon egg, which apparently is the same color. This is a... I think the same. I believe... I've heard it's the same sprite. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, other than the X, of course, but I think it's the same sprite. I think it would have been cool if Terriamon, the white part, had the X, and the Lopmon one, the black part, had the X, because, you know, I think that's why it's, like, white and black, because they're kind of, like, two sides of the same coin. One can be super evil, and the other one can not be. So, uh, I do appreciate this though. So we're just gonna wait for this to hatch and then we'll just show off some basic tertiary things. So, I mean, I love the way these devices kind of compare and contrast to each other. So with the original X's, you had the red frame and buttons, black body, and then the other one you had the blue frame and buttons and the white body. This has white frame and buttons, black frame and buttons. Got the gold, get the silver, it looks really nice. Yay! Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot we gotta roll his eye. Okay, so we have Kokomon and... Go oh, wait, no, is that Kokomon yet, or is Kokomon the baby too? I don't remember! Um, but I do know this is Zerimon. One, two, three, four. One, oh, two, three, four. I wonder if this is how it felt for Willis, because this is already a little, um little overwhelming well first of all something i noticed immediately the screen looks great let me look at it in person wow this is perfect this is perfect they finally did it bandai finally did it oh my god guys this is like this is very similar very very similar to the english 20th, the, the Wave 1 English 20th. I don't have a Wave 2. I be, I don't know if the Wave 2 of the screens are as good as the Wave 1, but this is like the Wave 1 20th where like it's perfect. Like it's not as dim. I can show it off. Like look on camera. Uh, I mean look at that. Like there's a huge difference in contrast. Look how gray these lines look compared to this. While the you know this the border you can see it more on this one i mean that's on uh, almost every device uh this is almost you know you can't see it but then it is at the detriment of the actual picture itself where you kind of it's like grayed out a little bit where this one as you can see you can still see the top and the little you know the actual pixels of the screen
but still, like, look how much better that is. Like, and this is all the same lighting that I use for every video. So, just a comparison there, that is uh, the two. So yeah, already a big improvement from the X2 screen, thank God. Um, and the X2 board, because I think it's actually a board problem, not the screen's problem. I believe the screens they're using are the same that the English 20th, you know, they, they come from the same factory now. I, I believe it was a different factory at first, but ever since the English 20th came out, I was hearing rumors that the X2 had the same screen, and it seems like that was the case, but it was actually the board that was making it so... Like, it seems like the contrast settings are set on the actual board itself, and you can't change that, sadly, which is something that they just they should just do. Just add, like, some kind of button combination to allow you to get into the contrast settings and allow you to save it, but instead, uh, they just do it for us, and... It's a hit or miss thing. So we had a definitely hit here. They finally got it just right. So this is going to be called Goldilocks, and I gotta find a name for this one. So this one's definitely going to be Goldilocks. Um, so if you guys can do me a huge favor, can name the blue one. Uh, give me a name for the blue one. I did actually I never named the X2. I don't think I've ever named the X2 uh, or the X1. I haven't named a device in a while actually since like the yellow twentieth. So yeah, this one's definitely going to be called Goldilocks because of this beautiful kind of golden ambery color and the fact that the damn screen is just right, just right. Perfect for me in my opinion because uh, I, I guess I'm starting to become the screen guy. I'm always complaining about them or talking about them. Every time I turn on a new device, I always talk about the, <laughs> the damn screen. Uh, but yeah, first one was too dark, second one was too light, and this one is just right. Like that Pacha meme. Just right. Just right. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we can... Baby 1 can't fight. No, Baby 1 can't fight. Baby 2 can fight. So we're going to have to wait a little bit to do anything with these guys. Connect them to other devices. Stuff like that. I can't remember what you get on these devices for connecting to another device. Oh god, I don't remember at all. I don't remember at all. I think... I know that when you connect these two, you can draw grass. Um... Ryudamon and Alphamon, you get Alphamon or you can. And when you fight, I think um, an X2 with this, you unlock Ogudamon X. And I think that's it. I don't know if there's an area SP. I'm going to assume. So far, that's been the case with all of them. Hopefully, the bonus you get on here for connecting to the previous uh, device is better than this one because this one. It just gives you Beelzebub on X earlier, but like, it did nothing for me because like, you get Beelzebub on X if you do 200 battles, which is not hard to achieve on these devices. You're doing a lot of battles on these devices at any given time. Uh, so I would love to get Terriermon and Lothmon X first. Um, I don't know if we're going to get them. I'm going to try to do like, max care, like best care. I'm going to try to get the top line. Hopefully the top line's not weird like the X2, but I doubt. Um, so I'm going to try to get the top line. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Look, they're like almost synced up with three. I don't know if I've gotten into detail about how much I love Terriermon. But Terriermon's for sure like top five Digimon. Like definitely up there. It's like him, Hackmon... Patamon and probably Dodumon. That's like my top five. Although I didn't name five because I'm leaving one out because I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. I'll make a list one day. Oh, you both pooped at the same time too, roughly the same time. Um, I love Terriermon, so I'm so happy that they gave him an X antibody form and Lopmon too. Uh, so I'd, I'd love to get their evolutions. Not too sure if we're going to do that. The first try. Not even sure if it's even available the first try. So, there's that. There's also a secret... Everyone listen, listen up real quick, okay, guys? There's a super secret egg on this device. Now, Humulus apparently has already unlocked it. So, there is a hidden egg on this device. And uh, this is slight spoilers here. So, uh, cover your ears and go la 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 for a little bit if you don't want to hear any spoilers. But, if you guys are down for the spoilers, I'll tell you exactly 
what's going on here. So, there is actually a second egg on both of these devices, and it is the Caramon X egg. You can get Caramon X on here, or is it just normal Caramon? I think the whole line is X anybody, though. Um, you have to meet certain death conditions to get this uh, Digimon, which is interesting. Uh, if they were gonna do that, I wish the egg had uh, was a bit more expansive. I wish it had like the Death X evolutions, uh, considering that those also require death as a requirement. But you know, it's still cool that they did in the first place anyway. So once you meet certain a certain death condition, uh, the screen will light up and it'll say "Want to play." A reference to our war game where Karamon is sending messages to everyone saying want to play. If you click yes, you unlock and hatch that Karamon egg. When you get that Karamon egg, you can get, like I said, Ogudamon X. There's not many evolutions on that egg, it's a straight line. It's very reminiscent to the special eggs on the 20th where it's a straight line pretty much. There's no kind of like branching pathway or anything it's really just like a nice little easter egg but i'm happy that they did add that so that's gonna be really cool i'm gonna try to unlock that probably not gonna do that the first run the first run that is um if the option comes up i'll probably do it on one but not the other but we'll, we'll see what happens you know i i uh i don't know uh, i will say that uh these devices are beautiful i like the fact that they actually colored the boards uh humulus did open his I don't know the color of this board. I'm going to guess it's probably the blue board they used for the X1. I've never seen this one opened, but I'd say it's probably a dark color, like blue or just whatever. But it means this is a dark... This is a, I feel like this is a darker color they used, whereas these two are a lot lighter. And this has a kind of golden board, and this has a white board. You can see the board. If you look closely, that white, that's the uh, board itself, which is nice. It, it matches with the buttons, where this one just kind of blends in a bit more and looks nice. I think it also helps add that golden hue. Are you pooping again? Jeez. My god. My god. Alright, so, um, I don't want to call it a day quite yet. I'll wait till these evolve and then we'll do some, some playing around and then we'll call it a day. It's gonna be a real long episode, but I'm pretty sure you guys expected that. I'll be back soon. I was putting away all the boxes and I faintly heard the chime of evolution. So let's check them out. Pretty sure you guys already know who that is. It is Kokomon and G G Gummy Gummymon? Kokomon Gummymon? Right? Jellymon Gummymon. I can't remember the first evolution. I think this is Kokomon. There we go. We got him. How cute. How adorable. Uh, just look at him. So One, two, three. Oops. Sorry, one, two, three. One, two, three, okay. Okay, so let's see here. Now we can go into the Colosseum, or the, I keep calling it Colosseum, it's really the quest mode. I'm just used to calling it a Colosseum. So of course we have level one available, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna fight them, because I wanna see them fight. I don't know why. I usually never have the two babies fight each other, but then again, I haven't had two babies to fight each other. I've only got one of each X, uh, of each X, uh, V-Pet until now. So, you know, our inaugural same battle fight. I have this really dumb smile on my face. You guys should see it. <laughs> I, I'm very happy because, like, I love these two so much. Tear him on more, I will admit. Oops, sorry buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I love you too, but it's just, you know, it's tear him on, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, I, I just, you know, I love these two so much. I'm happy that I actually have both. Um, getting both is always on my list of things I want to do, but it's never something I can actually afford to do. Um, but thanks to Sneaks, like, paying for half and then letting me just pay him back so he can get both too, it, you know, it helped me out a lot. So, I'm so happy. So, again, if you guys can, say thank you to Sneaks for me, please. Because without him, the channel wouldn't have both to run. Because this is the first time I've done both X devices at once. Usually I only do one. So this is going to be quite the challenge, all things considered. 
um, especially considering I have the minis coming in and I do want to run the minis too. So we're going to have a lot of devices that I'm going to be running. Probably going to be like a record <laughs> for the channel, to be honest. So uh, stay tuned. If you are not subscribed and you're somehow watching this and it got recommended to you, my name is Xanadu. I do a lot of ePet stuff. As you can see in the background, this is not even half of the V-Pets I own, um, as far as Digimon's concerned. I do other V-Pets sometimes too, but I mostly do Digimon. Other stuff I do sometimes too, but most of the time it's just Digimon stuff. Uh, so if you want to see daily updates and videos on all these things and, and learn more about them, then uh, come on in. Subscribe. I upload pretty much every day. Um, so, you know, if you're new and you're watching this, hey, if you're not new, thank you for sticking around, and, uh, thanks for watching this super duper long episode. If you're watching this, you are a real one. You're probably literally going to be part of 20%, honestly. Uh, not many people watch all my videos to the end. So if you're watching this and you're part of that 20%, I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor, leave a little Easter egg in the comment. Put a cherry emoji at the end of your comment. So if you watch this whole video, and you're at this point right now, put a cherry emoji at the end of your comment and uh, I'll pin the first comment that does it. Because again, I do appreciate you for watching this video all the way to the end. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm so excited. We finally have the X3s. I feel better. Today is going to be a great day. I just can feel it. And I'm really excited. Thank you so much. Thanks to Japan Want for giving me this cool extras. And um... Yeah, thank you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. We'll have more X3 stuff. I'll get into the lore too because I didn't get to do that in this episode. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.